All right, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. And more importantly, back to this series. So last episode, you seen that I sold the Supreme Air Force Ones, built our pot up to about $160. Then you even seen me take more L's on the sneakers app, put in some offers to eBay, which were eventually rejected. And honestly, bro, just revealed the harsh reality of trying to start a reselling business with such a low budget. And that is, unless you can get lucky on a dunk or a really hype Air Force One, your options are pretty limited. But however, that don't mean it's impossible. In the episode three, I'm about to show you exactly what you have to do to climb out that type of hole and what we have to do when the sneaker guys just ain't on our side. See, the first thing you have to realize is, is when the sneaker guys aren't on your side, there's still other things that you can do. If you're, if you're not hitting on hype releases, there's steps that you can take without bots to ensure that you do hit on hype releases. And bro, people are doing it every single day, hustle and a lot of grind. See, honestly, bro, I've been talking to a lot of people, meeting a lot of people, and earlier this week, I had somewhat like a eureka moment, bro. And honestly, it's not something I'm ashamed of not knowing about, it's just something that I wasn't hit to, because when I'm laser focused into doing something, then it's easy for stuff to pass me. Either way, you might already be hip to this. And if not, stick around to the end to find out exactly what that is. All right, so y'all know I couldn't sit around and wait on a miracle. And I know one thing's for certain, you can always go into the mall, scan and find something to sell, all right? And that's exactly what I did. So I actually went to Northeast Mall right here in Northeast Fort Worth. And honestly, because they usually have pretty stocked stores. However, a lot of times it's slept on, bro. So I personally think because it's out of the way as far as the location for people in the city I live in, that's what makes it a low key store. However, that's where I went to try to get this challenge going and find some stuff to sell. All right, so Northeast Mall actually had some decent stuff, man. We picked up a couple pairs. I'm gonna show y'all when we get to the crib, but nothing too exciting, bro. These are bricks. Like, I'm talking about bricks, bricks, bricks. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all, bro. All right, so we picked these bad boys up at the mall. Um, Honestly, compared to the blue ones, these ain't bad, bro. Like, I personally like the blue ones more, and I hate when they try to, like, mess with OG colorways, but you know what? I ain't gonna lie, these hard. We gonna see what we can get for them. All right, so the first thing I did when I got home is start taking pictures, getting them listed on eBay, getting them listed on Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, OfferUp, you name it. Now, keep in mind on my story, I did price them on the high end, but that's mostly so I gave myself room for negotiation because the local market is a little bit different. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100% real with y'all. I only grabbed it because it was a retro. I knew it was a brick. However, I didn't know it was this hard of a brick because on StockX, a size six, which is what I had, was only going for like 125 bucks with a $109 payout, which honestly, we would have lost money. Now, if you stick around to the end, you'll find out why that might not be such a bad thing. The eBay market was a little different, which is why I personally like the eBay market, and I don't really trip too hard over StockX prices. However, on eBay, I did see that there was a little bit of profit to be made. So I'm kind of showing y'all this and telling y'all this so you kind of know your options and know which, which dip, what different ways I could have went in this situation. Either way, I seen that there was some profit to be made on eBay, and I was confident that I could sell this shoe and make some sort of profit. Although, keeping it real, bro, that was not my intention. And I know you're like, bro, what are we doing here if you're not trying to make money? Trust me. There's a method to the madness. Stick around to the end and you will see why. Either way, I went to sleep, woke up, and then boom, got an offer from my Facebook story. Now remember, I priced it a little bit higher on my Facebook story. I actually priced it right at $200 on my Facebook story. And the person who seen it and wanted, they didn't want to negotiate. They wanted to pay my price. So that's what they did. They needed it for their son's outfit. Fourth of July was coming up and hey, that's sometimes how it goes. All right, so now you see it. We are now at 200. You know what I'm saying? And so, and so now what we about to do, we about to, you know, honestly do the same thing is go back in the mall, try to find some more stuff, bro. And you know, try to find some more stuff, try to flip it quick and you know, rinse and repeat. But I promise you, there's a method to the madness. So just, just stick with me, bro. I promise you, there's a reason why I'm doing this, man. Also, if you're from the Dallas Fort Worth area, specifically the Fort Worth area, then you know where we at, we at Hewlett Mall. I like to pop in on the size. Except anyway, we about to pop in, see what they got. And, you know, I'll let y'all know. All right, so we actually just picked up some GS mid. I don't know nothing about the colorway. I just knew it jumped out and I was like, yeah, that was hard. So, yo, when we get to the car, we'll see what they are. So you see, I actually did double back to the mall 
because bro, I'm trying to get it in. I'm trying to run it up. I'm trying to progress this challenge forward. And I was just about to leave, right? And then I checked champs and I seen a Jordan one mid with a UNC colorway. Now, at this point, I'm deep enough in the game to when I see a UNC colorway, regardless, when I see a UNC colorway, I know that it's gonna sell. Now, I probably, I feel like I can probably get 170 for these. I could either wait on 170 or I could go ahead and sell them on StockX and just get my money back what I paid for them. But once again, I'm trying to rinse and repeat this method because what I'm playing for right now is to make sales and not profit. And I know you might say, but why Rico, bro? Why, why are we doing that? This is a challenge. We are trying to go forward and bricks aren't gonna get us to 10K. And you're right, they're not. But in everything you do, every game you play, bro, you have to pay your dues. You have to start from the bottom and build. And that's exactly what I'm about to do with this challenge. Because here's the reality. This is a saying in the sneaker community right now, bricks build houses. And in this case, I'm trying to build me a solid house. Now, here's what I've been talking about. Here's why you stay to the end of the video. This is what I've been talking about the whole time, right? This is why I don't care if I profit a crazy amount and honestly at all right now you might already be hip but remember how i said there's people out here foot hustling to get pairs and are getting a bunch of them the way they are doing that is the flx app now like you i already knew about the flex app i'm not breaking any groundbreaking news here however me i i guess i could say i didn't really believe in it like i didn't really know how it worked plus i was 100 focused once again on growing this channel and then just botting, right? So I was so laser focused, everything else on the side was just passing me. What I found out is, is that this is the most practical way to push the challenge forward and not just push the challenge forward, but for you and I to build a strong resale business. And this is why. So I, right, so here's how the Flex app works for those who ain't hip. You get points for shopping at Foot Locker, right? Or Champs, any of the foot sites. Every dollar you spend with them, you get 100 points. Now you already know this as well. Foot sites raffle their sneakers off in their app, in the Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, you name it, app. And you can actually use points to give yourself head starts, which are supposed to give you a better chance of copping the shoe. Now, the politics and theories behind the Flex app, I'm not gonna get into that. I'm gonna let y'all go research that. Here's one thing that I do know. The people with the most Flex accounts are the ones who are hitting these sneakers consistently every single release. And honestly, a lot of people don't like that, but I think it makes total 100% sense. Now, I've actually called them and they've 100% denied the fact that the higher accounts win and that they say it's 100% random. It is reported and confirmed from New York to LA to Miami to Houston that the bigger accounts are the ones who are winning the raffles. And I know what you're thinking, like, man, how can I get in on this action? How many points do I actually need to, you know, win raffles? And that actually depends on your area. I mean, it's reported in like a place like NYC, you would need like 10 million points to just cop on a consistent basis. So if you do the math or as far as one dollar equaling a point think about how much a person like that has spent right and i know you're thinking like bro how do i build up millions of points well honestly it's a thing it's a situation where the rich get richer right because the person with the bigger points wins the raffle and then not only one raffle but they probably win at all the stores right and so they end up spending a thousand dollars a release right and they just get points and points and the people at the bottom who never hit don't ever really get a chance to spend and so they're stuck at the bottom not getting releases not getting raffles and not getting points all right now the system does benefit resellers and honestly that does suck for the consumer however y'all know me y'all know i'm not one to cry over spilled milk or to even complain if you can't beat them join them so that's exactly what i'm about to do find out how i run it up on the flex app and really move this challenge forward on the next episode